Hey guys, and welcome to World of Tanks. My name is Highfly15, and today is the day of Quiggies of the Week. But I, as the idiot I am, messed up the recording. I recorded 40, 50 clips without audio, which is, uh, bleh, so annoying, so annoying. That's like half the day gone, just wasted. Ugh, uh, I keep forgetting. So instead, today I'm going to show you two quite amazing games. Amazing in score-wise, but also amazing in... Uh, I like what happens as well. First up, we got the uh, Lord Leroy in his WZ 120. I haven't featured this tank on my channel at all, I think. So uh, it's about time. And um, it's also about time that we don't just see, like, Unicom players. Uh, doing insanely well. So today we're going to have some green apples do very well. But they do have Unicom players on each team, which it's pretty good. It's pretty good. First up, we have Mr. Walker right here next to our Lord Leroy. He is in the MX50 120. And then we have Winnie the Pooh in the T54 on the enemy team. And um, let's see who does best out of those two Unicoms. Just, just to make a little I don't know, head, head to head challenge there <laughs> first shot from Lord Leroy does not connect and the Winnie the Pooh shot only managed to track the W set so um, no damage dealt from or to um, any parties so far only from the uh, AMX 5120 on the, uh, the, uh, the approaching STA1 it's gonna move down here and engage the Tiger 1, which is down here in this little pond. He is going to snap the shot, which is a little shame, because that could have been quite the damage roll. Because this gun packs a punch. It is a tier 9 gun, but it has the most damage out of any of the tier 9 premium, or not premium, <laughs> uh, medium tanks. Bam! As you see there, a very nice roll of 423. KV-4 is hiding over there, but uh, the main focus is the T-34 over here. He could be peeking around that corner anytime now, so he's very wary of that fact. While he's sitting here, the STA-1 up there is risking his life. He has very little HP. And then a panther shows up. Like, okay. He tracks him, sadly because this panther has no armor whatsoever. The panther charges forward, and so does the T-34. No shots on him, though, but he does have a shot on the panther's turret, and that is 415 damage right in the face of that panther. And then the KV-4 goes mental and goes, I'm going to go forward and deal damage. A little weird, but it causes a distraction, and lets Lord Leroy get in a couple of shells see here in just a second. He's also going to put a shot into the T-34 as he's gonna go forward. This is all the KV-4s um, in the KV-4's honor. He does burn to the ground from the Tiger 1 and then Lord Leroy is gonna make the T-34 snap his shot on the turret of the WZ, which is a very bad idea. You're not gonna penetrate that unless you hit the cupola and that one is very small from that distance. Lord Leroy was also very lucky with the snapshot there. And then he's just gonna go ham on this Tiger 1. Bam! Right in the side. 390. That is a low roll, actually. I believe. I believe this gun has like 400 average damage. I think it is. Isn't it? Maybe I'm drunk. I think it is. Or more. Or more. Tiger P goes up against the KV 4. And as we can see here, bam, he bounced and hit the rock in the background. Lord Leroy is going to do something very crazy. He's going to sit here with the side to the KV-4, but magically takes no damage whatsoever. It's very, very weird. Very fortunate, though. So um, he's going to go down here to the south and help deal with the people pushing here. He's going to deal with them quite well. Bounces a shot from the Tiger P. And we're going to see the, um, the ISU put some great pain into the side here. Bam! Right in the side of the Tiger P. It puts him on very low HP. And Lord Leroy gets the kill. Going to go down here. Take care of this IS-3. 
while the Conqueror is going to advance on him from the top. Ayashi is once again going to hit him right in the side. Not him, but he hit the Tiger Beat well. And make that kill so much easier. Bam, right in the lower plate. Conqueror didn't even think about aiming, doing damage before he died. A little bit weird, but whatever. Light tank here. Gonna put the auto aim on this one as he's reversing. I'm not very fast right now, so bam, right there. And then he's gonna, I don't know, he's turning left and then going, wait, I can just go and kill him. <laughs> A little brain fart there. So far, there is only apples left on the allied team and a mixture of stuff on the enemy team. A KV-3 shows up, but he is not a problem whatsoever. As we can see here, he's already like doing wrong things with his turret. He was turning the right way, but then he started turning the other way, and now what Leroy can just do with him, whatever he wants. KV-3 has no chance whatsoever against any medium tank if caught in the open. Any medium tank in the entire game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Track him right there, and that's it. The KB3 is gonna fire in frustration, and that is a sign of, hey, I can just go wherever I want and shoot you on the way away from you, because you're not gonna reload in time. Caps. Yeah, the cap siren. Siren, that was. The cap circle is going off. Like, no, that doesn't make sense, Christian. Think about what you're going to say. <laughs> the cap siren goes off, and the ISU is taken out. And he is now all alone. But, very good damage roll there on the T54E1. 442. Very nice. And he, um, he's evening. He's trying to even out the playing field. He's looking for the ISU. Instead of going straight for the capture. Ooh, very good damage roll there. Two, uh, 452, but the ISU also gets a very, very good, uh, it, well, average roll on him. The ISU is still dead. That's nine kills. That is nine kills. And close to 6,800 damage. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Remember, remember all the shots that he took, which were a little bit crazy. He knows how to play, but he's not epic at it. So I, I'm uh, this game is quite <laughs> considering that. Tiger two is hiding behind a hill. Doesn't take the shot here. Don't really know why. And uh, sounded like arty fire before, like <laughs> right next to him, but. It was just a T-54, which is still alive, but very, very low on HP. So, um, a one shot from that dude, a one shot into that dude, <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be a goner. So we can see up in the corner, he has 12,000 W and 8. And he's gonna load the heat rounds, just to be sure. This is a very tight game, so I would have done that too, I think. Can't remember the penetration. Ratio on this one. Or ratio. Penetration. Rate. Penetration value. There we go. <sighs> Words, Christian. Words. So tough. I know, right? Yes. Let's go forward. But T54 is the one spotted over here. Instead of staying in cover behind tanks, it's going to go right in the open and get taken out. And that is the end of Winnie the Pooh. But he does get taken. That get, he takes damage from both of them. So he's now a one-shot from the Tiger 2. And that's scary. The Tiger 2 could just charge at him and kill him. Winnie the Pooh says GG, WZ. Very nice. Um, Winnie the Pooh there. Capture siren goes off again. And we now know exactly where he is. So that's a pretty bad well it's a good idea and a bad idea because well the tiger 2 only needs to take like two shells from um, w set to die so yeah i guess i would cap two maybe well first i would have charged after him here in the beginning where he takes one shot from the tiger 2 but tiger 2 decided to hide 
and um, it looked like uh, Lord Leroy was trying to go all the way around, but that would have been a mistake because he does not have the time to go all the way around right now. Right now he's also making a small miscalculation because he's looking where you cannot spot into the capsule. And he's going to do that again. And again, just emphasizing what a great game this is for this particular player because... So we can see on the minimap, the straight line is looking right next to the cap zone. So he's not spotting anything in the cap zone. Maybe across the rock, but... Eh, don't think so. Here we go. He's trying to spot at the outer rim of the cap zone. We'll see. Amex is suggesting to just go ham on him, but I would not suggest that. Um, this is uh, a little bit too close to do that. Tiger 2 is spotted here. I don't know how much he can see of Lord Leroy, but he bounces on the turret and does the decap with a sick, sick average damage. Or high roll. 480 damage. This gun is super powerful. He can see the Kubla and just takes his time and bam. That is the game. That was amazing. I really like that. That was Ace Tanker, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof, Duelist, a Bruiser, and of course the Radley Walters for doing 8 kills more. Got Defender, Steel Wall, Top Gun, High Caliber. Got 1925 base XP and 7772 damage. Bounced near uh, 2000 and also spotted near 2000. That's great great game but we can up that at least the raw base xp so uh, let's jump into a cromwell and uh, see how he does and here we have him marty the arty but i think he's pretty happy after this game that he did not choose his arty if he is an arty player uh, who cares whatever he's in the cromwell as i said earlier one of the absolute best tier 6 medium tanks in the entire game it is very mobile it has a great dpm and it also has um gun depression so uh you can go quite a lot of places with this tank and be quite successful so we see we're on pearl River? Is this Pearl River or the Sacred Valley? I can't remember all these names, especially when I don't like the maps. I think this is Sacred Valley, actually. Yep. Sacred Valley. Christian corrected himself. Good job. He is pushing alongside the western side. Western? No, southern. Southern. South. And pushing west. Uh, he's going to sit right here. And a T-34 is coming up here. And he is going to get spotted by this little tank coming his way. And suddenly, the tank is much closer than he anticipated. It's going to be right here in front of him. The replay bug is still in effect. Bam! There we go. And instead of just stopping and um, firing at him, which he easily could, he could just stop and shoot and shoot and shoot and kill him. He's gonna run away and leaving him at a one-shot. Remember that, he's still a one-shot right now. And he's not killed by the uh, the M6. So he turns around, looks where it is, and fires. It was auto-aimed, but still pretty nice that <laughs> the T-34 the T lived long enough for him to get the kill. He is now down here in a position which I've never really seen anyone take because it's quite a suicidal position to go to if there are people defending but he didn't take a single shot from anyone coming down here so he's in a great position right now to just pummel away at enemies right now he's taking a shot and then pulling back but if enemies are not looking at you there's absolutely no reason to be doing that he takes out the kv1s as well as the matilda as he did before and oh, that's a light thing over there but it's between buildings maybe you can get a shot there but nope Nothing. There's a grind down here. He's gonna take him right out by shooting him straight into the top of the structure of the tank. It is like just a big bulge of metal. And he's gonna look for the light tank again, but there is the SU-100 right there. Or is it an SU-85? Nope, it's an SU-100. Bam! He does not get the kill right here, which is very unfortunate because that would have been a sick 
game if he had it. He's gonna hit the, uh, I think that's the Chaffee, yep, that's the Chaffee over there. But gets away, goes invisible. He's gonna stick around here, see if he can hit this T-150. Nope, he cannot. And decides to turn around as the enemy, as we can see on the minimap, has decided to go all the way north around there. So uh, let's see if he can uh, go back and... Nope, that's a rock. That is definitely a rock. Let's see if he can <laughs> go around, go east and come back around and defend towards the north. There's a KV-85 down there. Let's see if he can get the kill on that one. Maybe he can. Aiming for the tracks to slow him down and confine his movement. KV-5 is completely oblivious to what's actually hurting him and gets killed. That is kill number five so far for our Cromwell driver. Marty the Art. I like the name if I didn't hate artillery. <laughs> he is now at 66 for W8 and 2200 damage. Average of 116. This is a very fast firing gun, so it cannot have that much damage which is how Morgan balances its guns and tanks. The M6 is... Well, he doesn't really care. Nope, it's T1. T1, yep. The M6 is... I, I don't really know how I can tell, but... Maybe I looked at the team panel. Um, the T67, which is still weird for me to say, tries to get away by running down here. Nobody takes him out as he comes running down there. So Marty leans over the edge and puts a shell right into the side. He also takes out a KV-1 with kind of a snapshot. It was a little bit aimed, but that again, it wasn't that well aimed. KV-5 is a decent player. Banana. It's going to take some shots here from the Covenanter. And then he... No, it's a Crusader, and then he's dead. Marty pulls back a little bit, puts a shell into the T-150, and another one, but it doesn't kill him. One, uh, three HP, and the snapshot connects once again. Very nice. And there is the Chaffee down there, that little Chaffee. He ran away, he ran away, and went all the way around north. Hmm, Cromwell's thinking about going out here. And the KB-85 is um, taunting a little bit. Come on, bunny. What? No. Okay. Remember that when you kill him. You are good. Not. Is he. Is that a. What? Is he trying to taunt him by saying not after after it? But his dad said not? What? I don't even know. I don't even care. Takes out the KV2 capping. Bam! Right there inside. KV2 had no idea where he was. And. Now that it's the A43, as he's also scurrying away. KV85 is spotted. Let's see if. Uh, nope. He's just gonna take a pounding. Bam. And then he goes invisible. Uh, don't aim for that dude to go. Yep, there we go. Bam. KV85 hit the face. And last one. Hey. He missed. God damn it. Hit him. There we go. Who's your bunny now? Yeah, that's right. You got owned by a, you by a bunny and a nut. I don't know. Anyways, it's clear that he doesn't speak English well or doesn't know grammar. Because what a skills. What? What? <laughs> uh, whatever. Let's just move to the north now because. Um, well, going up against the A43 from a distance is not a very good idea because he has he can actually out DPM Cromwell. If the Cromwell is at lower health, going up against the A43 would not be a very good idea because the A43 can do either 112 damage, I think, or is it 112 penetration? It's either above 100 damage per shot or about 85 damage per shot. And if he has the gun that fires 85 damage per shot, then he could potentially lose to this guy. Um, but 
seems like the A43 does not have the balls, the steel balls, to just keep on capping and telling the Cromwell exactly where he is. So he has moved out of the cap zone, and I'm pretty sure he's moving around north, or else you would have seen him. Cromwell stalking his prey. Will he get that 13th kill, which is quite crazy, or will the uh, 843 get the bear with him? We may never know unless we wait 30 seconds to see. Oh, I'm so dramatic. First up, 843 running away. Cromwell misses. He is auto aiming as we can't see the crosshair anywhere. It means that the auto aim is on. It's gonna miss and kill a building. Bam, that one hit. He's gonna kill another building but with the tank. And then down to two APCR. He doesn't really need APCR right now, but oh, he's in the open. If that one had hit, maybe the A43 could have had a chance. But it seems like the A43 is having some lag issue because the turret did not follow whatsoever. And that's the game. 13 kills for the Cromwell. Marty the Arty Fire for Effect. Duh. Duelist. Bruiser. Pulls metal. The Kabarabar Stim for theirs thing. I don't know what's called. And um, high caliber and top gun, and he got 2,176 base XP, 4,831 damage. Now, I don't want to see anyone in the comments going, that's nothing, I've gotten like 3,000 base XP, because you clearly don't know what base XP is, if you don't think this is insane. I know some of you have proven your point by sending in replays that had... 50 or more base XP than Annihilator last Monday, uh, but you really have to take into account premium and, and stuff like that, and look at the base XP. This is what counts, not the other part, not the added bonus. And if you don't have the replay or screenshot of the battle, we cannot use your service record as proof because the premium it is added there. Um, 58 shots fired, 44 hit, 42 uh, per, 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 pretended, <laughs> penetrated, and um, yeah, he didn't bounce. Uh, he did, actually did bounce. He bounced 85 damage. It's kind of been crucial in the end there. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And the quickies will be coming. They will be coming. I'm try. I'll push for them to come out tomorrow. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed this episode as a replacement. And I'll see you in the next episode. And have a great weekend.